the rotating valve motor. The rotating valve motor was designed to improve the performance and longevity of the valve mechanisms. Below the head, the motor is of standard components and design, so we have not shown the block of the motor in this animation. The head can be moulded as separate to the block, in this case referred to as a head plate, or integrated into a one-piece block moulding. The unique features of this motor are the valve mechanisms which consist of a ceramic rotating valve tube for the inlet mixture and another ceramic rotating tube for the exhaust gases. These valve tubes are each divided into four segments by dividing walls, also made of ceramic and each constituting a one-piece moulding. Within each segment of the valve tubes are ports shaped to the tubular outer wall of the tube, leading to the section responsible of the specific cylinder and timed by rotation of the tube to match the timing required for the inlet gases or exhaust gases. The valve tubes are supported in roller bearing sets equally spaced along their length. The roller bearings are mounted to bosses which are integral to the head plate or head of the motor. The lower graphite bearings have a tubular inner profile matching the outer diameter of the valve tubes. The lower graphite bearings also contain ports, shaped to match the ports in the head plate at their lower ends and to match the ports in the inlet or the exhaust valve tubes at their upper ends. These lower graphite bearings are fixed to the head plate of the motor with screws and sealed to the head plate using a valve gasket. The valve gasket is fixed with the same screws to the head plate of the motor. Above these lower graphite bearings are the upper graphite bearings, which also have an inner tubular profile matching the outer diameter of the valve tubes. The upper graphite bearings are fixed through the lower graphite bearings directly to the head plate with the same screws. The lower and upper graphite bearings operate within a sealed environment provided by the lower and upper valve covers. When the inlet valve tube rotates, the port in the valve tube opens, directing the inlet gases through the port in the lower graphite bearing and into the port in the head plate, then on into the combustion chamber ready to be compressed and ignited. A similar timing and expulsion of the exhaust gases takes place through the exhaust port on the opposite side of the cylinder. One of the advantages of this system over reciprocating valves is that in reciprocating valve mechanisms, the valve itself, when fully open, still blocks over 80% of the valve port. The valve tubes can be driven by a series of gears connecting directly to the crankshaft, or by tooth spelt as shown here, using the same 2 to 1 reduction in rotational speed. The inlet gases are pre-compressed using a standard turbocharger. Fuel is directed through openings in the outer wall of the valve cylinder into the appropriate sector of the inlet valve tube, suitable for the intake stroke of the next cylinder. It is possible that four separate injectors are preferable, injecting directly into each combustion chamber. Ignition of the fuel-air mixture is by spark plugs, identical to the arrangement in a standard motor.